I found out that I'll be speaking at a data science conference on Wednesday, so that is in two days. Good morning everyone, this is Yulia again. Today it's going to be a very intense video uh, that I hope is going to get done. It's now Monday, I'm just starting out my day and I found out that I'll be speaking at a data science conference on Wednesday, so that is in two days. So I have to prepare for that, come up with some content, figure out the logistics and um, yeah, get it done. So I thought it would be a good example of a very high paced blog of a kind of unusual week in the life of um, yeah, a data scientist, architect, whatever you want to call it. So today I'm going to be taking you along of how I'm going to hopefully make this mission impossible happen and um, then maybe vlog for the conference on Wednesday as well. So you see what it's like to speak at a conference in a pandemic, in quarantine, digitally, online, which is a very new experience for me as well. But uh, let's try to make it happen and I'll see you on the other side. I am now working from home as a lot of people, I assume. I'm going to show you, this is my office setup. I have my screens, I have my coffee. I am in the middle of my living room and uh, this is where I get most of my work done these days. I have uh, online meetings and I talk to customers and my colleagues and I work on my projects. And sometimes there's also special events like this week. Right, we're back. Took a little walk around the center to also get some fresh air, which is really helpful and I think really healthy during those times. So that's what I did and I got myself some food. And because it's quite a stressful day with like some really close deadlines, I went for my cheat meal. Uh, can you guess what it is? I'm gonna give you some time. And yes, please don't judge me. I know it's like I'm 12, um, but it just makes me feel really good inside on a stressful day to have some horrible food that I know it's not healthy, but it's just so salty and sugary and good. So I'm gonna have myself some burgers and then it's back to work. All right, so I'm going to show you how I prepare for the presentation and just for presentations that I give in general. I very rarely use text, as you can see, all the slides are basically just pictures and infographics. We have uh, the logos from Azure for any time I talk about architecture, because they're really easy to recognize. I'm going to talk about machine learning process in general without linking it to technology and then map that to the different products that you would use on Azure. And then the way Azure machine learning basically abstracts the technology behind the scenes and you just have these simple concepts that you know what each of them refers to, like compute. And then you use the studio and I'm going to describe all the different functionalities and the different types of users that would be on this platform. And uh, for this presentation, I also wrote down the topic overviews that I'm going to talk about in my speech with some bullet points and questions that can move the conversation along, which is what the interviewers will use to go back and forth on the story with me. And my session is now finally on the website. It's going to be called Data Science Scenarios. And I have a host, well, actually two hosts that are going to be interviewing me. And um, yeah, I'll have 25 minutes to tell my story as part of the Go Data Fest uh, streamed data technology conference that's a lot of words but yeah basically they have a day for AWS and Google and Databricks and open source and um, I'll be representing the Microsoft day during this week and that's going to be streaming on Thursday okay so I thought I would give a quick update from a familiar spot so I finished for today, I have my presentation ready and I'm really excited for Wednesday. I found out a bit more about the setup, I'm going to go in for a 30 minute recording and we're going to film it as if it were live and then I'm going to leave. So we're in there for as little time as possible, there's going to be disinfectant, social distancing, staying away from each other as much as possible and there's only going to be 
five people max in a room with the camera crew and everything wearing masks. So I'm happy that that's going to be handled correctly. I'm also excited to just leave the house and do something that's not working from my living room for once. So that's going to be a good change. It's been a pretty crazy time. So I'm going to try to do some video editing this evening uh, for YouTube and for you guys to get some more content from me. I'm trying to keep it a bit more regular. So I hope that there's more stuff to watch already on the channel. So this is the end of Monday for me. I think the next thing coming up is probably going to be the conference on Wednesday. So if everything went well, the footage should follow now. Good morning again. Well, not morning. It's uh, almost noon. It's Wednesday today. It's the day of the conference. I'm going to be going to a studio and recording my speech today with the interviewer. And then that's going to be broadcast next week. I don't know how that fits with when the video is being published. Maybe you can still sign up to see it. I'll probably leave a link in the description. So um, yeah, so before we head out, I have my essentials. I have a few masks that I'm taking with me. Uh, we have to wear masks on public transport and inside buildings. I'm meeting uh, one of my colleagues there. Well, he's recording before me, so I'm not sure if we're gonna actually overlap on time in the office, but I'll try to say hi. And I'm gonna film a bit of the behind the scenes curious how it works out and um, let's take a look at that. so low but um, we made it to the studio and uh, you saw my colleague Murat is already recording his video and the studio looks really really awesome like the interview setting and they have 10 different cameras and it looks like a real professional production which it is um, makes me feel really bad about how I edit my videos but oh well I'm about to go on in about 20 minutes and I'll see if I can get some b-roll of me filming the interview as well wish me luck I get uh, so stressed before and after these things, but then once you're talking about something you like, it goes a lot better. Uh, but yeah, it was super fun and I got a present from them. Thank you so much to the, the Go Data Driven team and the people who organized uh, the conference. Um, yeah, I think it went really well. I'm so happy that I was a part of it and that I got to, to leave my house for a little bit during these weird times. I'm gonna head back home now and uh, end this video and I hope it's gonna be out soon and I hope you enjoyed watching a very different day in the life of a data scientist. Thank you! Bye!